It's, it's just a fantastic demonstration. So this is an aluminium rod. You can do it with a clamp stand. Right, aluminium rod, and you grasp it in the middle. You don't need to grasp it in the middle. There's other places you can, you can get it. And then you get a bit of rosin. I got this from a bally shop. Okay. I don't know why they want to stick to the floor, but they do. All right, you get a bit of rosin, so this is the same stuff as you get on, on the violin strings. And then, okay, you stroke this rod. Okay. Um, what, what you're doing is you're setting up, okay, you're setting up a longitudinal wave. It doesn't make any difference how many times you do this. It's still great, isn't it? Um, and, and you're setting up a longitudinal wave. Okay, and we've got an antinode at each end and a node in the middle. And um, this, this will sound stupid when I say it now, um, but the, the, the disadvantage, of course, with this is that it's quite long. And if you're going places, you know, like this, as I happen to, um, it's a bit of a pain to carry around. So uh, try not to laugh too much, right? So what I thought was, if I could bend this, um, so it was much, you know, like a couple of S waves, it would be much shorter. As long as I had enough to, you know, stroke the rod, it ought to, you know, it was, seemed a good idea at the time. Um, anyway, it, never, it never really got that far, um, but it is a really neat demonstration because if we take, and it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be as thick. So if we take one of these and I hold it in the middle, Okay, and now I stroke it. Um, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, now. Nothing at all. All right. If I hold it... There. Right, it still works. And not only does it still work, right, this end is obviously vibrating as well, because if I do that, right, it goes quiet. And one of the reasons why I really, really like this is because for me, this, not working when you hold it in the middle, is really the thing I think a lot of people forget when they're doing standing waves. Okay? It's the fact that you still have got you now these two waves going past each other, you know, setting up your, your um, superposition, your big, big wave in, in, as a result of these two. Right? And, and the fact that you're, you know, th this, this bend stops those waves travelling round. But it's okay when you're holding it in the middle because you make this end then vibrate, which makes that end vibrate. Okay, does that make sense? So, uh, so that's, that's, that's a nice one, my, my, my bent singing rods um, demonstration.